Okay. So what I'm interested in is my own use of language in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And what has come up in thinking about it is my use of language during writer's workshop, many lessons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what I noticed my students were doing in writing conferences, they were not talking about the writing. They talked about what was in the writing as if it was a real experience. Mm -hmm. So if a student was, and it was a real experience, but they didn't, they tended to focus on the, the happenings as opposed to the writing. Mm -hmm. So if a student wrote about a trip to Great America, the whole conference would be about Great America. What did you do? Who was there? And those are good questions, but the author couldn't figure out what to do with the writing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm wondering is how my use of academic language in the, in the mini lesson can sort of lead them to talking about each other's writing as a piece of writing, as opposed to just discussing an activity. What do you mean by academic language? Um, that there's the question. That's where I'm at right now. What is, what is it I'm really talking about? Am I talking about language structure? Am I talking about words? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So what I've been doing is modeling terms writers use. For example, we talked about metaphor, simile, hyperbole, figurative language, adjective, description, onomatopoeia. I'm using all these words, but I'm not sure if I want to just think of academic language as concepts and terms, yeah. or if it's the structure of the discussion. Is it the pair of conference? Is it the way, is it a sentence frame? I don't know. If you said, if I ask you, in this research, if you want a goal to be present in your classroom, ideally, at the end of the research, what would the goal be for your the students? The goal for my students is that they would be able to discuss someone's writing as, a, as authors, so that they would be able to have a conversation around a piece of writing that sounds like two writers, as opposed to two kids who just went outside to play. Are you talking about their own writing? Their own or, or a professional peer. author. Theirs. Yeah. And their own writing and yeah. their peers. Okay, so sort of like an author's chair. Exactly. So if we have author's chair and a student asks a question, I don't want all of the questions to be, did you win? What day did you do that? I, you know, questions about the, about the actual about the actual the experience. Yeah, about I want the, them to think about the writing. What did the author do? So Anne, just asking that question about whose writing you're talking about makes me wonder, like, do you, do you focus on that with, with, with published writing, like when they're reading other authors' writing? So, during reading. So because part of what I'm hearing you saying is like, how can you, and I'm totally putting words in your mouth, so tell me if they're the wrong words. But part of what I'm hearing you say is, how can you have kids analyze each other's writing in the same way they analyze the writing published authors? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm looking for, them to, to look at their writing as a piece of writing and not as just a retelling of something they did. They have a tendency to take, you know how we tell each other stories? Mm -hmm. They look at the writing as if they're just telling each other a story. It could go on and on and on without any punctuation. It can have no emotion. Then when they read it back, they read it back emotionless. But the power is when they just talk about it. They don't but they're interested it. in the story. In they're the, interested, they're in the interested in the story. They're not real story. interested in the writing. The they could care writers. less mm -hmm. about the writing. So you have to figure out a way to get them to transfer the knowledge they already have for discussing published authors to, the, to each other. And to think about when you told that to me, it sounded like this. How can you translate that to your writing? How can you make your writing? 
We have a very similar topic, don't we? Very close. I'm very close to that. Hmm. Have you tried um, kind of exploring?